The Ravens have released their regular season depth chart, and you can read through all the details on that in the story that we posted here earlier today. And here I want to point out a few of my key takeaways. Let's start with the offensive line. This is a group that's been in flux all summer, and that continued over the weekend as the Ravens traded for a pair of interior linemen. But for now, it looks like James Hurst is going into the regular season as the left guard. He's listed as the starter with newly acquired veteran Tony Bergstrom as the backup. That means the offensive line is going to be Hurst at left guard, Ronnie Stanley at left tackle, Austin Howard there at right tackle, Marshall Yonda, of course, at right guard, and then Ryan Jensen as the starting center. New addition, Luke Buenco, he's another guy the Ravens traded for this weekend. He's listed as Jensen's backup at center. Now then, let's go to receiver. The Ravens actually list the base package on this offense as a three-receiver set with Mike Wallace, Jeremy Macklin, and Brashad Perriman as the starters. Now that's a change from the depth chart during training camp, which had the base package as two receivers and two tight ends. Now there's only one tight end in the starting lineup, and that's Nick Boyle. Boyle had a quiet preseason, but the Ravens really like his ability both in the running game and as a receiver. And then on defense, Kamalai Correa is listed as the starting weak side linebacker with Patrick Owasso as the backup. So right now the Ravens could kind of use a by committee approach at that weak side linebacker position, but it's still Correa who's listed as a starter. And we'll see how all this plays out when the Ravens take the field Sunday against the Bengals. And to get you fired up about that game, if you're not already, we have a whole bunch of events planned throughout the city this week. For more info on those, you need to go ahead and check out our countdown to kickoff page that has all the details. That's it for me in the final drive today, but thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see all of you again tomorrow.